Howdy. Today is June 29th, 2012. I have people tell me I shouldn't give the date because the date's on, but you know, I mean, somebody may be watching this, this video a year from now or five years from now or something. And my name is Jim Howard. And I've used up 30 seconds. This is, I'm not sure if I want to call this a review or not, but today's Friday. Wednesday I went out and I went to Best Buy and I bought the Virgin Mobile HTC Evo 5 4G and that's the 3D the 3D phone and that's it here I got it Wednesday today's Friday so I've played with it for a few days I love it it costs three hundred dollars right now I'm in Texas so I had to pay tax, sales tax. That was $333 altogether. A lot of money for me. I'm retired on a fixed income. Uh, before, what was it? The Samsung, you've seen me go through. I've done reviews of, what was this? The Samsung Triumph? Or the Samsung, I don't even know what this This is a phone I had with Virgin Mobile. This is with Virgin Mobile. Now, I had the... $25 plan, Virgin Mobile changed their policy. They did away with the $25 plan. But anybody who had a $25 plan, you used to be able to upgrade to a new phone and keep the 20 but they changed that. So when you upgrade now, so you want to make sure, I had a few days left. I had them, up, I had them uh, go ahead and activate the phone at the Best Buy store. Real nice, attractive young girl. Uh, did it. Um, my grandson, by the way, is going to be 24 here in a few days, and he has the very same phone. He got it about a month ago, I think. Uh, he's very sharp with the computers and everything. He loves this, this uh, cell phone. He, uh, at work, has to carry a company uh, iPhone, uh, but it's the old model. And when he got his phone, he says this blows away that phone. So I activated the phone. I have the $35 plan, so I have uh, 300 minutes unlimited data. Um, by the way, you can do tethering with this uh, cell phone. I didn't pay that. It's $15 extra. So um, I did decide to pay the $5 a month for the insurance. So I'm going to be paying uh, $40 a month. As soon as I can get a case for this, <clears throat> I, I know the case I want. When I order the case in and get the ca protective case on it or whatever, I may cancel that $5 insurance. Got the cell phone at Best Buy. Walked outside into the bright, into the 100 degree temperature and the bright uh, sunlight. I could see the display. With this phone and with every cell phone I had before, it was in the sunlight. It was useless. I could see. I could see the display. Uh, I came home and uh, put all the applications on here that I wanted: a scanner, radio, uh, cardio trainer to, to go out and walk, and it records my path and uh, how fast I walk and how far I walk. Um, comes with a lot of applications already on there. Uh, Play Store. I wish they left it, you know. Uh, it has Polaris Office on there. Anyway, I put Scanner Radio on there. I put on my stock. I have some stock and I have a app for that company. I put that on there. I put on Star Charts. I've always been interested in astronomy. Back when I had the bulletin board system, back starting in 1982, a local astronomy club. They used my bulletin board system for their membership thing for several years. Eventually they got their own bulletin board system. And But I was interested in astronomy even before that, but uh, I got even more interested. And working security for 30 years or whatever, I always kept track of, because I, well, especially working midnight, kept track of the, I guess I ought to push on it, shouldn't I? Uh, I always... Um, kept track of the stars, and I'd be out in the parking lot 
standing out in a parking lot someplace at 5 a.m. in the morning or whatever, and some employee would be coming in, I'd say, look, there's Jupiter, Venus, and Mars. And uh, so I, you know, when they had PDAs, little palm, devi you know, palm devices or whatever, I'd put that little program on search for city. I haven't even done this yet. Uh, I don't want to search for cities with you, but anyway. Anyway, with this, oh, it let me, I don't know where it is, but this, if you haven't seen it, it's really neat. Before I had a PDA and I would have to, okay, it would show me a sky map and I didn't, you know, I'd have to let's see which way is north, which way. With this, you just put the cell phone up, point it at the star or the area or whatever, and it shows you, tells you which the stars, the planets, and the whole thing. Uh, yes, I'd like to quit. Okay. Um, let's see. Twitter was already on, I think. Anyway, I put a bunch of applications on here with no trouble at all. And everything works great. Um, what I just a few hours, just an hour or so ago, I got in uh, two 32 gig micro SD cards but um, so I copied the information that was on the one that was in here the, that it comes with an eight I think it was an eight gig was it? I think it was eight gig it comes with and then I copied that data to the 32 gig and put it in and everything is everything is fine um, I was trying to demonstrate the scanner radio one, but it doesn't. I, I can't, I'm not good at uh, doing two things at once. So um, I highly recommend it if you, you know, if you if you're wa wanting to use Virgin Mobile service. 35 bucks a month, unlimited data. I mean, they have a, some type of a cap in there. If you hit that cap, then they slow you down or something. I'll never hit the cap. My grandson might hit the cap some month because he's going to college. He's working and going to college. And when he goes to college, he rides three buses, I think, to get to the college. And I think he's planning on watching movies and I don't know what all as he's doing that. Right now, it's summer and he's taking online classes. Um, now, the only complaint about this phone, oh, I got to get to the cameras. The only complaint about this phone, whoops, it's doing a voice search on, I, doing a ver voice search, you know, on, uh, went to Android I think the voice recognition uh, whatever I've used that like when I was a couple of the applications were hard to find you know I had to do a bunch of searching and I just uh, said uh, went to the search hit the voice search button and did cardio trainer and it popped up Works really good. Let me. I guess at this point, let me tell you the complaint I have. It doesn't bother me much. The uh, phone call audio excellent. Uh, the rings when it ring when the phone rings, which it never rings because I I just don't use my phone. Don't use it for anything really. The audio for media if you're watching a movie or the, like the audio there's audio that comes with the cardio trainer when I go out and walk around the parking lot and it's using GPS to track me and tell how fast I'm walking how far I'm walking and how long I walked and then 
when I get done, I can hit save and it uploads it to Facebook and to my uh, to Twitter and sends it out automatically. Um, that has, if you want it, you can play music in the background, or I can a voice can tell you occasionally, you know, you have walked a half mile. Uh, the audio is low. The audio is really low. Now I have hearing problem in both ears, but my grandson says, says the same thing. The audio is low. Uh, that bother me because I'm not going to be watching movies or walking around outside watching movies or whatever. But the audio is low for all those things. There's no way. There's, I know about the adjustments where you go in and slide the thing over. I got them slid all the way over for everything. The audio is low for uh, movies and uh, YouTube videos when you watch videos and everything play fast. YouTube plays excellent. <clears throat> but the audio level is low. So that might be a real complaint for some people. Uh, not for me, it's not a problem. So, the camera. You have a front facing 1.5 megapixel, I think it is, or 1.3 megapixel. And the quality is uh, Quality is very, uh, very good for that front-facing camera. Let's see. Well, oh hell. Anyway, the uh, that's. The rear-facing cameras, it's uh, 5 megapixels. I haven't really taken, I've only taken a couple still pictures with it. I hear that the still picture quality is very good. And I really haven't... Uh, haven't taken the still picture to find out. But uh, like I said, the front facing camera is 1.3 megapixels. The two back cameras are 5 megapixels. There's two lenses because it takes 3D. And there's a switch makes it very easy. There's a switch on top here that you just switch between 3 and 2. You know, 2D or 3D. I have made um, and uploaded it to YouTube. I made a video outside walking in 2D, and it was okay, but it sure wasn't what I'm used to from all of the other cameras that uh, that I've had for making videos. It, it would be great. I mean. You've got this with you, and you're someplace far away, and you and you want to use what is it, Quick QI, QIK or whatever, and you could be someplace, and you could send a video, have it uploaded directly to uh, YouTube, and it would be there. Uh, all kinds of options, and everything works fine. But I'm not crazy about the the video. I was hoping with this cam when I go out the door anywhere. I've been, I was going out the door with my other cell phone and this camera, and I never go anywhere, and it was never going anywhere. My hope was that maybe I could just have this, but if I'm going to be going someplace, I think I'm going to be taking that with me, unfortunately. Um, I made the 2D video. It wasn't, it was okay, but I'm not crazy about it. Not to my standards. I made a, I did take a 3D picture with this, a still picture. It's really interesting, you, you know, you see it in 3D on here without having to put glasses on. Uh, I made a 3D the same time, not the very same, exact same time, but after I made the, uh, whoops, <laughs> getting confused. After I made the 2D walking video, I made a 3D walking video in 3D. What did I just say? I made a 3D walking video on 3D. And, you know, the 3D effects are... I uploaded both those videos. I'll put links to them. 
And 3D is interesting, but I... If I watch 3D videos here on YouTube now, I get... Uh, I'm not even watching a 3D video and I'm starting to get a headache. Whenever I try to watch a 3D video, I, I just start immediately getting a headache. So it's something I'll probably play with around. I probably would like to really make a really good, one really good 3D video, you know, if I go someplace where I don't know what that would be. You know, maybe go to a zoo where they have some type of a tropical building with plants and you, and you could walk through and the, you're walking through trees and hanging vines and maybe there's uh, birds flying around in there and maybe uh, butterfly, you know, something like that. that It'd be interesting to see if I could make a really good 3D video. I've heard that the still images are good, and there have been some people who have made videos that say that this does, which I would love, says that it does remarkably well when you take still pictures in uh, available light. And I've always hated to use flash all my life, and I've been taking pictures since I was in, a kid in grade school. Photography is one of my hobbies. So I'm hoping that the, and I haven't, I don't know yet, but uh, people are saying that the still images are, are pretty good. I think that's it. Positive in every way, except for the, you know, the audio. I love it. This is the first really good, you know. You know, when I got the, I've got a bunch of videos that I've made of you seeing me upgrading, progressively spending more money for uh, cell phones. But uh, this is the first cell phone that I've had that just, I just really love it. It works fast. Great display. Beautiful display. So, the only thing, I guess if you're <clears throat> thinking of purchasing it, you, you probably better make sure the audio is that you can live with a low audio. And I now, of course, I, I'm sure if you used headphones, that would, you know, or if you use Bluetooth headphone, that would take care of it. And I'm sure that's probably what my grandson he uses headphones all the time. Anyway, thanks for watching. I got a feeling. I, I want to apologize to you. I got a feeling that I don't know. I just uh, not with it today or something. Just. Anyway, I hope you get something out of it, out of this vid uh, video. Don't want to call it a uh, review. I didn't go into the specs or anything, but it's a great phone. Thanks for watching.